What is up guys, Brian Fritz of Network 126. So quick update on my car here. So first and foremost, it has not overheated one single time since replacing the radiator. But it's losing coolant. It doesn't seem to be a head gasket issue because there doesn't seem to be any coolant mixing with the oil. It's, it just seems to be building up too much pressure and it's it, it's it's, it's the, act, the coolant is actually escaping out of the the uh, whatever it's called the escape overflow valve that's like back behind here I can't even show you um, something's going on here I've been doing a lot, bunch of research and uh, different sites were, were saying to check the like the EGR valve and the thermostat and all this and that but they were also saying check the radiator cap so here's the thing it just out of curiosity, I started looking up the, the radiator cap and seeing how much they are and stuff. But then I, I noticed something quite odd. That is the radiator cap for my car. Only thing is, it doesn't look like mine. But what is this? So, in doing research on these radiator caps, I found out that it's very common... I found a bunch of pictures like this, people talking about how the radiator cap's broken half. Like completely just separated and part of it gets stuck inside the, the, the coolant reservoir. So that seems to be what's happening over here, or what's happened rather. And I'm not, you know, this is just, this is another, you know, this is just another headache in the saga of my life here but I don't know I might have to because that, that this coolant reservoir is pretty old anyway and I, I try to I, I filmed this once or twice already and I try to show you guys that, that there is like like a crack going alongside down here and, and I actually can feel it with my finger over here I cannot show it to you guys I'd have to pull out the, the, this whole tank the coolant uh, reservoir but I, I think it's better but you know because I can be like, you know, trying to shove screwdrivers in, in here and trying to wedge and crack this part and pull it out and, but I'm probably just going to end up damaging this part in here. You know, it, it's all plastic, so if I start sticking a screwdriver in there and, and you know, I'm like marring and scratching and, you know, the, the plastic, it, it's not going to create a proper seal when I, you know, when I buy the new radiator cap. So I'm thinking... Now these are 46 bucks for for the radiator. I mean the, the the coolant reservoir. The the cap I forget is only like a few bucks. So all together we're looking at at least 50 bucks here for the uh, for a, a whole new reservoir and cap, which I really think it needs because I was seeing all these videos about how just the, a, a simple radiator cap issue with it not holding the right amount of pressure, it can cause you know it it can cause it to start boiling and cause all kinds of problems and then overflowing of coolant because it, it, it it's it's not leaking from anywhere except it, it's just coming out from the overflow valve the, the the hole back here that you know it's designed to, to do that to you know when there's too much pressure when there's too much fluid a fluid in the system so um yeah so this is going to be fun it's just ongoing issues with the car but at least it's not overheating but I do need to take care of this. I, I have been watching the coolant levels. I've been having to keep topping it off over and over and over again. Um, it, 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 just, it just keeps losing coolant. But when I check the dipstick, it, it, it doesn't seem to be... It, 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 yeah, I, well, I can't really show it well on camera, but I've already showed, I've already checked this, you know, closer up and, you know, more detail and stuff. And it, it, it's not... So anyway, it doesn't seem to be a blown head gasket doesn't seem to be the EGR valve I mean obviously I mean look at this this is yeah this is horrible so anyway guys let me know what you guys think about that below in the comments section I might I'm, I'm actually tempted to go and check uh, pick apart because maybe I don't know I can maybe get one that I one of these that's in better condition the reservoir and then I'll buy the cap new maybe or if the one that well I don't know I might as well just get a new one. Um, so anyway, let me know let me know what you guys think about that below in the comments section, and I will see you all in the next one.